Hey, I'm Carmen LaBerge, host of Mornings with Carmen. Thank you so much um, for just taking a minute to spend together. I talk at a pretty rapid pace on the show, and I think that is how people imagine that I engage all the time with everything, but I'm actually a fairly quiet, restful person, particularly when um, I recognize that I've reached my limit relationally or emotionally. I try never to reach a spiritual limit, but that sometimes happens as well. I'm wondering, do you ever kind of reach your limit? You know you're maxed out. You know that it's time, as Jesus perceived in his own life, to pull away from the crowds and just get some one-on-one -on -one time with the Father. I'm going to encourage you to take some rest. It could be a moment of rest in the midst of a frenetic five minutes. It could be um, five minutes of rest in a particularly hectic hour. Maybe you would have the privilege of carving out an hour of rest in a particularly challenging day. I don't know, could you get a day of rest? Like an actual Sabbath? Or a genuine weekend of rest? A time of saying no to the things that tend to pile up and pile on and crowd out? What would it look like to just dwell? I mean, to abide in Christ. Yes, to intimately be connected to the vine, like actually maybe just sit and soak to dwell. What are you dwelling on? Who are you dwelling in? What does it mean to dwell on something? I mean, when scripture says that Mary pondered these things in her heart, I mean, I liken that to the way we dwell on things. So what are you dwelling on? That's a, that's a way of resting in the Lord, abiding in him. We think of abiding or dwelling in God as a shelter. We also think of it as a way that we get our energy and um, draw up from him what we need. But there's also just this sort of sitting back and relaxing into his everlasting arms, crawling up into his lap and listening to him, allowing the rhythm of your own heartbeat to begin to beat with his heart allowing the rhythm of your own breath to find the pace of grace. Rest doesn't necessarily mean you lay your head down on a pillow and you go to sleep. Rest could be spending some time next to some still waters or finding a place of stillness even next to a raging sea. You and I are not going to likely have the privilege of living in a time where there's peace in the land and rest in every direction. But there can be rest in our souls. And so I'm going to encourage you, this is going to sound a little odd, I'm going to encourage you to allow yourself, your spirit, to be arrested, to be brought into captivity with Christ, to allow Christ to take every thought captive, to allow the Holy Spirit to hold you fast, to be bound to God, and to just sit there with him and see what happens. See how you're transformed by simply finding your rest in the Lord. And then let me know how it goes. You can always email me. Carmen at MyFaithRadio.com. Have a great rest of the day.